My topic today is how to jumpstart your day with breakfast. Many people can't face food when they crawl out of bed. A quick cup of coffee or tea and maybe a donut or sweet roll is the standard adult breakfast. An increasing number of children arrive at school having eaten nothing at all. Why is it that most people skip breakfast? The most common reasons people give are they don't have time, they're not hungry in the morning, they want to lose weight, or they don't realize its importance. Eating breakfast simply makes good sense. Who would start out on a trip without any gas in the car? So why would you start your day without the necessary energy supply? A group of scientists spent 10 years studying the effects of eating breakfast. A good breakfast, they concluded, can help both children and adults be less irritable, more efficient, more energetic, and have better test scores. Yes, breakfast has helped children score higher on tests written before the noon recess. How? Breakfast provides a steady source of fuel to the brain, which greatly improves mental function and attention span. Studies have even linked healthy breakfasts with less chronic disease, increased longevity, and better health. Others have shown that those who wait to eat until after arriving at work do not perform as well in their work output. Many people attempt to compensate for that mid-morning drop in energy by drinking coffee, tea, or caffeinated soda, along with something sweet uh, like a donut, sweet roll, or other high-calorie snack. But what is a healthy breakfast? The culture may vary, but a good breakfast is one that provides at least one-third to one-half of the day's calories, it's high in fiber, and is rich in vitamins and minerals. You may have heard the wise saying, eat breakfast like a king, lunch like a prince, and supper like a pauper. Trying to start your day with a whole grain cereal, whole grain bread, and a couple of pieces of fresh fruit, and you'll find the energy levels stay high all morning. Cereals, bread, and fruit are energy foods, carbohydrates, which are easily converted into glucose, the fuel of the body. These foods are also loaded with vitamins and minerals and rich in disease-fighting phytochemicals and antioxidants. Someone may ask, what about having orange juice and a donut for breakfast? We need something more substantial, something with more fiber in it. Low fiber foods, especially sugary ones, quickly pass into the bloodstream and cause the blood sugar levels to rise and then fall rapidly, often well below normal levels. Low blood sugar may result in physical problems including headache, false hunger, shaky hands, poor vision, and irritability. No wonder so many people's energy and efficiency levels drop in the late morning hours. On the other hand, a high fiber diet prevents too rapid absorption ensuring a steady release of nutrients into the bloodstream. This results in consistent energy throughout the morning. Fiber also absorbs water as it moves through the stomach and intestines, preventing constipation. Let's compare some fiber-rich foods with similar but refined foods. An orange has two and a half grams of fiber compared to one cup of orange juice with only half a gram. One piece of whole wheat bread has 2.2 grams it would take more than four slices of white bread to equal the fiber in one piece of a whole wheat bread. A bowl of oatmeal has four grams of fiber compared to a bowl of cornflakes. It's very simple. Unrefined plant foods are excellent source of dietary fiber, whereas animal products like eggs, meat, and dairy are virtually devoid of fiber. Fiber does far more to help than just maintain physical, mental, and energy. It plays a crucial role in the weight control, heart disease, diabetes, and also helps protect against cancer. Eating a variety of unrefined foods is the best way to provide your body with the fiber it needs. Why is it that most people skip breakfast? The most common reason people give is, I don't have time to eat breakfast. Too many people are in the habit of staying up late, then sleeping in as long as they can in the morning. The solution? Try going to bed as early as you can, wake up in the morning feeling refreshed and with time to spare. Begin the day by drinking a glass or two of water, get outside in the fresh air for some active exercise, like a brisk walk, shower, and dress for the day. Then eat a nourishing breakfast. It will boost your energy, increase your attention span, and leave you feeling better. This also works well with children. Put them to bed early enough to wake up in the morning to join the family around the breakfast table. Unfortunately, many people are saying, but I'm just not hungry in the morning. Why? 
Probably the biggest culprit is at the large meal in the evening and the late TV snacks. At bedtime, the stomach is still busy digesting all that food, since digestion slows down during sleep. Sometimes food is still in the stomach in the morning, but the stomach needs rest too. An exhausted stomach does not feel like breakfast. What's the solution? Eat a lighter supper and at least four hours before bedtime. Eat or drink nothing but water after the evening meal. We actually sleep better on an empty stomach also. What about weight loss? With the increasing need to lose weight, many people believe skipping breakfast will help them accomplish this goal. Surprisingly, this is only an illusion. Breakfast studies demonstrate that the omission of breakfast does not help weight reduction. It's actually a disadvantage because those who do not eat breakfast experience increased hunger and eat more snacks and food the rest of the day. Be imaginative, be creative. Breakfast can be almost any nutritious food available to you. It's quite interesting to read the Bible account of how God provided his people with food as they journeyed to the promised land. For 40 years, he rained down manna for the people to eat and gave them the grain of heaven. Men ate the bread of angels. This manna was given once each day and it was always in the morning. Of course, our breakfasts aren't rained down from heaven these days, but God does cause the earth to bring forth many healthy and tasty foods. The bottom line, a good breakfast will boost your energy, improve your health and mental function, and help you lose weight. Where can you find a better bargain than that? Please share what you're learning on social media. Visit and like us on Facebook, visit and subscribe to the YouTube channel, and visit and subscribe to our website at brandonseniorseminars.com for much more free downloadable study material. This information does not replace your doctor's expertise and you should not make any changes in your health without first consulting your physician. Thank you and God bless.